Welcome to your final challenge. It's just you and me now. Let's do this. Do you want to battle together with another player? What's happening? You can't challenge me at the same time. No! I made Pokemon Emeralds, a multiplayer mod that allows two players to connect to battle together against any trainer in the game. In this video, I will showcase all of its features and how you can set things up to play it yourself. The main feature is of course the co-op battles. If you say yes to battling with another player, you can choose up to three Pokemon to bring into the battle, and once a connected player has also chosen their Pokemon, the co-op battle will start. If you cancel the connection before both players are ready, or if you're not challenging the same trainer, a regular battle will start instead. Don't worry, May and Brennan still count as the same trainer, the game will just use the rivals team based on player 1. In these co-op battles, you each control one Pokemon at a time, while the opponent has two Pokemon of their own, unless they only had one Pokemon in their party to begin with. If either player loses all their Pokemon, the players both lose and white out. You also don't get any experience in co-op battles, so I added a reusable rare candy item to compensate for that. The other main features can all be found by selecting randomizer in the option menu to go to the randomizer menu. However, the most important setting here is for enabling the soul link mode. With this enabled, if a Pokemon faints in battle, the game looks through both players' parties for any other Pokemon with the same met location and sets their HP to zero as well. Fainted Pokemon also can't be healed if this setting is enabled, so this is a built-in version of the Soul Link rule that says that Pokemon caught on the same route are linked, and if one faints, neither Pokemon can be used anymore. The other settings mostly explain themselves. They randomize specific groups of Pokemon, and these settings can be changed at any point. For some groups, there is a special third option besides turning the randomizer on or off. Trainer and Wild Pokemon can be randomized to have a similar base set total to the original Pokemon, Legendary Pokemon can be randomized into only other Legendary Pokemon, and Starters can be randomized into only first stage Pokemon that evolve twice. For the rest, I haven't made any changes, so it truly feels as if you're playing Vanilla Emerald while battling together with a friend. Let's now go over how you can play this as well. First, download the patch from either my Discord server or my Google Drive folder, and use a ROM patcher to apply the patch to a legally acquired ROM of Pokemon Emerald. Make sure you then copy the game so there is one for player 1 and one for player 2. Next, launch the MGBA emulator and start the player 1 game. Now go to File and then New Multiplayer window and then open the player 2 game in this new window. Lastly, go to Tools and then Settings to set up the controls for each game. Use the keyboard for game 1 and a controller for game 2. For the controller, you can use something like Switch Joy-Cons to make this work. This lets one person control game 1 with the keyboard, while a second person can at the same time control game 2 with a controller, and they can now link up to battle together. If you want to play this with someone online, you can use something like Chrome Remote Desktop to let another person control game 1 remotely. So that's all the features of Pokemon Emeralds and how you can play it as well. This mod took a lot of time and effort to make, so if you'd like to support me, consider liking, subscribing, or maybe even becoming a YouTube member, which also gives you early access to future mods and videos. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the mod, I'll see you next time, and of course, stay alive. Dost thou wanteth to battle with one of thine allies?